Where's the beef? <laughs> Queens, I like to stay on the bleeding edge of fashion trends around campus with my trucker hat slash parachute pants ensemble. Which is why I'm excited for this week's Private Eye, where they'll be taking a look at trends around campus. Let's take a look. At university, a student is expected to grow in many ways, academically, socially, and personally. A way an individual can express themselves is usually in what they purchase, and most particularly what they wear. But has Queen's University created an environment where students are forced to buy popular trends? And has this led to the extinction of personal style? Well, QTV investigates. Although trends come in all seasons, a particular season that sees no stoppage of these trends is winter. From candy goose jackets to Uggs and Longchamp bags, these prominent trends have seemed to storm their way through campus. We asked students what their thoughts were on these trends. What do you think about the trends at Queen's University? Uh, I think everyone loves the trends at Queen's University. I think it completely is like a stereotype that people love to fill. And uh, I myself fill some of them, maybe not others, but sometimes it's unavoidable. And you can't really tell people apart. Canada goose jackets, hunter boots, etc. I have my own trend. Um, not that it's like anything over the top or anything like that, but um, I think everyone just tries their best to fit in and whatever that means, I guess everyone tries their best to kind of fit into the norm. Um, I think that trends will be present everywhere, like at any point in time. Um, I think that they're definitely present at Queens, you can tell, just like looking around. Um, but I think that everybody kind of puts their own spin on trends. So for the Canada Goose Jackets, like of course there's all different lengths and colors. It's not every single Queens University girl looks the same. They all can kind of suit it to their personal style taste. Do you think that boys at the school also fo follow the trends? Um, I think boys at the school love pretending that they don't follow the trends, but really they all do. Um, they all love their pea coats and their uh, like hardy winter boots, and like they all look the same, even though they think we all look the same. What do you think about the people that try not to follow trends? I think that's pretty much inevitable. You can't try and not follow a trend because even that itself is a trend. So I think that people should not really try to go for that look because I just think personally it kind of embarrasses them a little bit. Um, I think people who try not to follow trends are following their own trend, which is non-conformist, and that's just as conforming as the rest of the Canada Goose wearing folk. Uh, wearing plaid and tight jeans is just as trendy as wearing Uggs. How do you think that trends start? I feel like people follow the celebrities and magazines and, uh, and things on the internet, trends on the internet that start. They start on the internet nowadays, especially like with blogs and I don't know, like all the like fast-paced media on the internet. Can girls wear something that looks cool? Marketing, I have no idea. They're really warm jackets, like Canada Juice Goose jackets. They're really great for cold weather, and it's cold here in Canada, and I guess they look stylish, and they market it well. With the increasing popularity of these trends on campus, one must ask what these brands are doing right. Hi, I'm here with James Malcolm at Trailhead. I have a couple questions for you today. Sure. I was wondering, have you seen any trends going on at Queen's University? Well, well, sure. I think our biggest trend this year has been uh, um, Canada Goose jackets, uh, along with some other items. But Canada Goose is in a league of its own this year, um, both for men and particularly for women, though. Well, this is a 50-year-old company. They're not, they haven't just been around and, and throwing jackets out into the market. So things are well thought out. They have a great reputation in the north, uh, in the Arctic, uh, for expeditions. Uh, and for people working in the north, uh, and it's, it's for good cause. They, they, um, their down quality is exceptional, um, and down is usually a mix of both down and feather when we're talking about a down jacket. The, fit, the popular term now is puffy, but really we're talking about a down jacket. Um, but they're just well designed, whether it's uh, cuffs like this that prevent um, uh, the wind from blowing up your sleeve, uh, or just a nice beefy zipper on it. It guarantees it's easy to do up and it's not going to break down on you. Do you think that these trends have a negative or positive influence on people? Ah, that's a good question. I, I'm, I would say, and I, I don't, in, in our store we, we are, we're honestly uh, something that would suit their needs and not above it. So in, in many cases, if a trend hits, people have never been in before, hey, I want a Canada Goose jacket, and all of a sudden, uh, they're in, whether it's sticker shock or whether they're, they're trying it on, if it's not right for them, because we, we ask lots of questions at Trailhead to make sure that it's the right item for them. So I think uh, a trend can be harmful 
if somebody marches in and they have to have it no matter what, because it might not be the best product for them. Although winter doesn't seem to end anytime soon, it's only a matter of time until new trends spring up. Now we all know that environments all have their own trends, but now it's up to the individual to choose if they want to follow them or not. This has been Talino Nessian with The Private Eye.